Welcome to 1333. In the last one, we had Henry age up and we had die pass away. You're not getting any more wives, mister. We had William age up. We had, no, Maggie's getting married this year. That's why I was thinking about her. Robert, no, I think that's it Bjorn aged up as well into a child and we're pregnant we're like literally gonna have a baby in two seconds so we'll do that and uh, Agnes completed her aspiration which was awesome no one is pregnant right now yeah I, I, nobody had any babies or anything the last one so there's that this year we're going to marry Maggie and we're actually, I just made her a husband. His name is Roland Dubois. He's from France um, and she's related to everybody in town. So that's why I had to bring in a husband. We'll have Estrid's birthday and Revna and Hugo's birthdays as well. So this will be exciting. Very exciting. Lots of, lots of people starting to become teenagers and children and stuff from the next generation. So that's really good. And then this is upcoming, <laughs> but we're going to ignore that for now. So let's hop into the game. Okay, so here we are, and our cow plant is still alive. I'm kind of hoping it dies, to be completely honest, but that's okay. So let's actually, I want him to work on his handiness. Okay, also our baby is being born. But I want, okay, let's roll for the baby before I talk about his handiness. We're fine, mom and baby are fine. So let's pick a name out and we're going to go to the Viking names because that's what I was, that's the theme we're going with for Eric and his family. And so, um, we're going to choose Randy. Here we go. And she survives. Excellent. Okay. So anyway, his handiness, I want him to work on his handiness because I really want to upgrade their bed because I feel like it would be a huge benefit to us to have the bed that, you know, makes them sleep really well, really quickly. And also I want our sinks to stop breaking. So that's fine too. I want the wooden toilet, but now I tried to go into build and like I could find the wooden bathtub, but not the wooden toilet for some reason. And I feel like, I don't know why that's happening to me. <laughs> So anyway, let's um, get all of our kids doing their chores. It's actually really nice that the kids are starting to get older, and I didn't even realize, but I guess I do have some setting where maybe the kids can help take care of the baby, but I didn't even realize that until after I was, um, you know, filming. So anyway, um, a fox died, and so Grim is just appearing right here. Also, our cat was going to die soon, which is unfortunate, but true. Okay. Also, uh, Revna's birthday is coming up at the end of this um, this year, so we will potentially have three children in our household so that we can have them all doing things, and we will get through our morning chores much faster. Like, I don't know if you remember, but when it was just Agnes and Eric would be at work, it would take Agnes the entire work day, like until 3 p.m., to get all of the farm chores done, but now that we have kids that can do stuff... <laughs> It's going much quicker. We're getting all of our farm chores done first thing in the morning, and it's really great. So anyway, it's talk like a pirate day, and we are talking like pirates uh, with the kids first, and then we will do it for the parents as well. And then she's hungry. Everybody's hungry. Everybody come get something to eat. Very good. Oh, the baby's crying. Okay, you're going to have to stop talking like a pirate and come take care of the baby. But luckily, she has parenting level 10, so she can do this super efficient baby care. So that is really great that we can do that. Oh, hey, Margaret. Yeah, Margaret asked us to um, talk to, if she should talk to her brother. And it's like, okay, Margaret, that's your brother. You can talk to him. <laughs> anyway, let's talk like a pirate. Then we can heave ho. <laughs> Oh, it's kind of funny how they come up with some of that stuff. But anyway, so, oh, hey, well, let's talk to the stranger to get some attention, but she's really tired too, so I might just send her to bed, and I was trying to figure something out and, like, get her attention up, but she's just not having it, and I don't really know what to do with toddlers when they're like this, because it's like, you want to go to bed, but you also want attention, and so you won't, I'm trying to give you attention, but you won't take it because you want to go to bed. I don't, I don't know, I don't get it. <laughs> Anyway, 
let's woohoo to get their fun up. I'm just going to cheat the toddlers. Okay, so they're all set. My baby disappeared there for a second. I was a little concerned. Okie doke. And here we go. Yes, I don't know who you are, but you need to leave my house. All right, so the baby is crying again, and I just want you to be okay. Oh, look at our little girl. Oh, and our toddler has woken up our child. Why don't you give her some attention then? <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, okay, let's check on Estrid, who needs to use several persons add-ons uh, for the Decades Challenge. She does survive, so Estrid is going to become a toddler and then will um, later become a child, maybe. She has better chances than we do, so anyway. And then tomorrow we will marry off Maggie, who is actually um, Hugo's sister from another mother. Like when Hugo the second remarried to Mabel, Maggie was born. So she is significantly younger than the rest of, you know, her and her two brothers are much younger than the rest of generation two here that we're working with. So it's kind of interesting. Like you're... People from Generation 2 and Generation 3 are the same age. Anyway, let's check on this. Do, do, do. And all the kids are playing. They're good. They're in good shape. Oh, look at how excited she is. I actually really like the face they make for Playful. I think my CC breaks when um, Eric tries to make faces. Like, what's his arm doing there? <laughs> anyway. All right, everybody get something to eat. Actually, Agnes is in a really good place right now. You have to go to the bathroom. So you go to the bathroom and then come down here and then I'll have your brother go to the bathroom and then come down here and then you can both get your fun up by playing chess together. How nice. <laughs> anyway. I'm trying to keep everything going in a household that has one bathroom. <laughs> so... I'm going to have him scavenge for parts because I am trying to get his handiness up so that we can do some of this other stuff. You got this, my man. Excellent. Okay. So just playing with the babies. Oh, she has to go to the bathroom. Okay. You're both tired. Maybe you should go to bed before you pass out. I don't know what to do. Again, I'm trying to fix them and I can't, so it's fine. You go to bed too. Everybody go to bed. It's four o'clock in the in the afternoon. You should go to bed. <laughs> it doesn't even matter if our timing is off because we live on a farm and nobody goes to school. So it's like doesn't even matter that, um, you know, that that's happening. So it's fine. And there we go. You have to go to bed. She's a little tired. Her fun's oh, of course. As soon as they go to bed, the baby starts crying. Go back to bed now. Okay. Oh, the monster under the bed. Are you kidding me? As soon as these parents try to go to bed, she's pregnant. She's pregnant, you guys. She's pregnant. Okay. She is pregnant, and I wasn't really intending for her to get pregnant again so soon, to be completely honest with you. So there's that. Everything's fine. When does this other baby that we have age up? Not soon enough. We will definitely be having a baby before then, but that's okay. Let's just keep going with our lives. Everyone has to use the bathroom again. I'm just not into it. Okay. Um, after we complete our morning chores, then I will head over to the new house that I made for Maggie. Oh, my cow. You're taking my cow? Okay. Well, we're going to need to get a new cow. You come over here and do this, please, Agnes. Thank you. All right, so um, what was I saying? We're going to go over to Maggie's house after this. The baby's crying. If you could just hold on until I can do this, please, and thank you. I still want Agnes to do the fruits and vegetables because she's going to be the one cooking. So there is that. As soon as, well, no, I guess not. I don't know. I'm going to have to really try to remember to remove everything from Agnes's inventory before she dies. But I don't know if I'm going to remember. And our cow plant's dead now, so that's good, I guess. Anyway, 
Um, I'm going to try to remember that. <laughs> we'll see. Okay. So we are going to head over to Maggie and um, Roland's house. So Roland Dubois is a Frenchman. And he is here. I don't know why he's here. Um, I think he has money. <laughs> he has money. So Maggie is a lazy, clumsy sim. So I'm kind of figuring that like she wanted to marry rich so that she could just be lazy and have other people do everything for her and like have her husband hire a nanny and all that stuff. So um, anyway. And honestly, I was going to pick an older guy for her, like maybe, you know, like an old rich guy who just wants a young wife. But then the game automatically generated Roland here for me. And he just looked so good. I was like, I don't want to make you like the the like gross old guy with the teenager wife. So <laughs> so I didn't do that. Anyway, let's just say he fell in love at first sight. He's a romantic. He has the soulmate aspiration. He he just really, you know, but he is very cute. And we are going to get them engaged. And then uh, we are trying to get her pregnant so that we can, you know, start having babies on that way. Uh, she's still Gen 2. So you can see here, there's two, she has two younger brothers. And then that's the last of, well, actually, it's not the last of Gen 2 because of the vampires, but I don't really count the vampires when I'm thinking about that, so I don't know. I feel like that's like an important distinction is that you can't really say that the vampires are Gen 2 when they're, they live forever and then they're born really late, you know? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. So here is Astrid, and uh, she is Christiana's daughter. So far, she's surviving. There she is. She's a little cutie. I'm going to put a little person over here for her. Very nice. She's a vampire. And here we go. Just putting a picture of her there. Her birthday was last two, two years ago? One year ago? I don't know. And there we go. So this is our family tree now. It's getting quite big. Very nice. And then tomorrow we'll roll for Revna and for Hugo the fourth. I yeah, Hugo the fourth. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow on the last day of the year. But for right now, uh, you're not gonna have a child get married, so I'm gonna ignore you, and you can uh, fix the bathtub and get some more parts because why not? At least we can work on our handiness a little bit in that way. And there we go. Okay. So we're in a pretty good shape here. It's Valentine's Day, so I do want them to flirt with each other. And so he has done that, and they're excellent there. And then she is going to do the same. And then we will have checked off Valentine's Day for the both of them. So there is that. Very nice. And... Okay, so they're good, and okay, why are you being mean to him all of a sudden? Stop that. <laughs> Stop that. Maybe it's pregnancy hormones. Let's just go with that, because these two are very much in love. Maybe she's sick of his fear of cheating. She's like, I didn't cheat on you. I'd never cheat on you. We have like a million children, and you're still complaining? <laughs> anyway, you know what else is um, officially we have more kids than anyone else like anyone else in the family tree and now um, Agnes and Eric have had the most children which is I don't know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten children so yes we've had ten children with them and that is the most after Hugo the sec oh wait no that's not true well okay in each line because Hugo the second had only nine children with his first wife but then he had another four with his second wife so technically he has the most but for one marriage we have the most so there is that let's uh, age up Revna I spent way too long talking about that while we were rolling both of her and Hugo survive and um she rolled the neat trait and she's wearing glasses so I'm like you know what fine you can wear glasses if you want we'll have her wear glasses none of our other kids wear glasses so we'll do that although I'm not sure poor people would be able to afford glasses I'm not even sure exactly what glasses were like back then but it's fine 
So we are going to just finish this and then we'll put her in some outfits. This is our first child that is a girl that has made it to childhood. So that is really good. I'm glad about that. She's a cutie. She is. Look at her little face. She's so cute. Let's take a picture for the family tree. And then we will, there we go, okay. Update that, update it with her new um, uh, trait. I was like, what is it? <laughs> it's a trait. Um, yeah, so we're in good shape there. Oh, I kind of want to stop having kids. Um, <laughs> but whatever, it's fine. So um, what are we doing? We're heading back home for the rest of the day, and she's going to join the club. Oh, you know what? Later on in the day, we will go to Hugo and get that sorted out. I feel like I say Hugo, and it could mean any number of four people. So, anyway. So, we're just going to do our morning chores again. So, that is really exciting. Just a, another day in our farm life. And... There we go. Okay. Yeah, she's she's definitely pregnant. Her bladder and her hunger are going down so fast. And the baby's crying. Oh my gosh, can you get out of the bathroom? Okay, she peed herself because she couldn't go to the bathroom because Revna was just standing there. This is what happens when you have autonomy off. <laughs> okay, you go to the bathroom. Alrighty. Oh, she's hungry. And then we gotta take we really gotta take care of this baby, Agnes. <laughs> and you're about to have another one. Probably like, well, not this year, but shortly into next year. And then we'll have two babies for a couple of days. So there's that. But oh well. Let's just do this. Check on our laundry. We have some more laundry we could do. And then we'll have one of our children gather some water. What is that over by my cow? Oh, the kid is taking care of the cow. Or just standing there. I'm not really sure. But he's just standing there. Okay, I don't know why you glitched, but that's okay. So we are going to head over to Hugo's house now. That's the last thing we're going to do is just head over there and be able to uh, age him up. And um, he did survive. He is the heir, and he's the only boy as well in this family. So that's really important. I, I hope he survives. <laughs> so he is the heir, and he is actually blonde like his mother, which is really interesting. So here he is, and with all his siblings, and then we are going to just age him up, have him join the club, and then we will go ahead and go into create a sim and take care of that. So that's what we're doing there. We have now finished this year and we'll move on to next year in the next part where uh, we have a couple more birthday. Oh, we have Agnes's birthday. Agnes's birthday is, is next year. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I'm nervous now. Okay, well now I'm scared. So that's how we're going to end this with my terror. So <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.